For a long time now, legends of technology capable of affecting our climate have been discussed. Most are of course false, so far as we knew. We believed that humanity was not yet technologically advanced enough to create natural disasters. But what if we were wrong? What if I told you that not only does the government have the technology to modify the climate, but has already used it in battle? The difference between this story and an urban legend is that this has been officially confirmed and declassified. Today, we're going to take a look at Operation Popeye. If you want to talk about controlling the weather as something that can only happen in the far future, well then you will be shocked to know that this secret operation occurred in the 1960s. The country responsible for modifying the Earth's climate for military purpose was the United States. The objective was to weaken the Viet Cong, but how exactly did they change the weather? According to various reports, Lead and silver iodide was deployed by aircraft and was used in an attempt to increase cloud seeding and increase rainfall, weakening the Viet Cong. They wanted to oversaturate the grounds where the enemy forces would pass, causing ground displacement, making it difficult to mobilize. The mission's motto was make mud, not war. They were trying to defeat the enemy with mud instead of weapons. Two F-3 Phantom aircrafts and a C-130 Hercules were used for the cloud seeding process. Now they weren't making rain appear per se, the process was simply to lengthen the existing rainfalls. The Viet Cong never suspected that the US was changing the weather. The operation lasted from March 20th, 1967 to July 5th, 1972. Operation Popeye was first revealed to the public in March of 1971 thanks to reporter Jack Anderson. He published several classified documents of the operation. Then in 1972, it was shown to the American public on a large scale through the New York Times publication. This caused an outrage. The American people could not believe that the US government would use the weather as a weapon. This caused the cessation of the project. Thereafter, the House of Representatives and the US Senate voted in favor of the ban of environmental warfare. To this day, the strategy of modifying the climate to obtain a military advantage is officially prohibited in the country. But was the operation successful? The fact that the project lasted so long could be a sign that it did work, and that it actually increased the amount of rain. Maybe it was achieving its goal against the enemy army. However, the US Army did lose the war against Vietnam, so maybe it wasn't as effective. The point here is, if we could already modify the Earth's climate over 50 years ago, imagine what could be achieved with today's technology. Tell me what you think. Did you know about Operation Popeye? Thank you all for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember, assume nothing and question everything.